how to make a quinine extract for fever. When the drug stores are bones, you're cooking from the inside out. The shivering starts. <laughs> then, the sweating. Your blood feels hot soup, and your brain is the soggy cracker floating in it. The parasites are throwing up party in your veins, and you need crash it. It's time to play wasteland pharmacist. First, you need bark, specifically from the cinchona tree. The old timers called it the fever tree for a reason. Get the wrong tree, and your last journal entry will just read, chase like dirt. Shave the bark off. Don't kill the tree unless you're feeling particularly selfish today. Grind it in to a coarse powder. Use a rock. Use your brute. I don't care. Now boil it in water. Let it simmer until the liquid is dark, bitter, angry looking. This foul brew is your medicine. Want to know why this works and isn't just terrible tasting tea? Subscribe. The knowledge is worth it. Smart move. The science is basic extract. The hot water is ripping the active alkaloids out of the bark cell walls. The main the main alkaloid is quinine. Think of it as a chemical sledgehammer for your body's thermostat, forcing it back down. Let it cool. Drain out the woody garbage. Now drink it. It will taste like the bottom of the battery. That's how you know it's probably working. If the fever breaks, congratulations. You've beaten one of the world's oldest killers with a tree. Now you're just weak, dehydrated, and an easy target for everything else.